Hello there, everybody. Welcome to my channel, Victoria here, Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your daily reading, August 17th, 2023. I think today is Thursday. There we go. Thursday, almost the weekend. Thank goodness. All right, let's have a look and see what we've got coming in for you today. Reminder, stick around to the end and I'll tell you how to win or how to enter to win a free personal reading. We have the energy of co-create and this is in the reverse. Oh dear. So when this particular deck is in the reverse, this is an indicator that this card is in our protection position. So the universe is giving you a little bit of a heads up today. And this can indicate a little bit of a block. All right. So spirit's trying to give you a heads up. We're always co-creating our reality with spirit. We're always manifesting in conjunction with spirit in the universe. And when this is in this protection position, this can indicate you're trying too hard or you're feeling blocked. Maybe you're feeling a little bit uninspired at the moment. And, you know, considering we're still in this new moon energy, all right, this is a perfect opportunity for you to reset, regroup, renew, refresh, and be open. So take that step back and actually think we had that message uh, with Wednesday's reading, didn't we, with the Gemini ener energy, right? Think something through. So you might be trying to force something into existence or rush through um, thinking, oh my goodness, I've got this one day when this new moon comes in here and this is what I, I, I this is what I want to manifest. And in the meantime, you're just not taking things slow. Remember the moon energies, moon cycles and every 28 days, right? This one does carry a little bit of a breakthrough and excitement with it. And the thing is, the energy lasts about it comes in about three days before and lasts about three days after so this is spirit saying relax relax be open ground your energy find a quiet space for yourself to connect with your heart space to connect with your mind all right, and allow the energy to flow. Remember, we had the high priestess yesterday too, and the magician. Okay, you've got the magic, you've got the power, you've got the energy within you. All right, but sometimes the more we try, the more we focus on something, sometimes the more we push it away or create those blocks. We don't want to do that, right? We want to break away out of that energy. We want to be we want to be magical and we want to be abundant in our lives, right? So just a little bit of a reminder from spirit there for you guys, all right, with the co-create energy. Energy coming in here for you today is the Ace of Cups. So <laughs> there you go. You have the ability to start something new, to create the life that you want, to make improvements in your life, to find your happiness, your joy, your bliss, find your inner peace, but we need to be open. So the Ace of Cups is spirit saying, look, I have a gift for you. I have some calming energy for you. Some of you may actually have a new beginning or a fresh start, or maybe you just feel a little bit more inspired today, right? This Ace of Cups, Aces, bring a little bit of luck and aces also are gifts from spirit so new beginnings gifts coming your way maybe where you've been feeling blocked spirit is saying I have a way forward for you but you need to be open and ready to receive that message so take that step back find that quiet space and you'd be amazed what happens in that you probably feel quite the little energy shift in there for yourself this is also a reminder that what you put out into the universe flows back to you. And we have to remember that sometimes, right? Because quite often what flows back is multiplied and we want all of the good, all of the love, all of the happiness, all of the blessings that are, are that are available to us in the infinite abundance of the universe. And we want that to flow back to us, right? We don't want to focus on what we don't have. We want we don't want to focus on the negative, right? We need to remember to let that go and then welcome in all of the new blessings, right? This is also saying to you the time is now. Do you have some feelings you want to express to somebody? Do you want to get out there and meet new people? It's a perfect time for you to meet new friends, meet new romantic connections, um, you know, start those new creative projects or to manifest in your life. The time is now. Right. And the thing is, we don't always know what tomorrow is going to bring. Right. We can't always predict the future. We can get an idea. But of course, things can shift and things can change. Right. And we have the power to change as well. We need to remember that sometimes there's certain things that are we're destined to experience. Um, there's certain things that are, you know, part of our 
um, part of our soul contract here on earth, but there's a lot, a lot of other stuff that we can, um, have a little bit more control of in a really positive way. So remember that, right? We don't always know what tomorrow will bring. And today, today is the important day. So make those amends, find that forgiveness, do something that you love, open your heart space. And of course, um, you know, move forward with an open heart and an open mind. We've got the emperor coming here today as your advice from spirit. Remember, you are powerful. Okay, the emperor brings in an energy of stability and security, brings in an energy of authority and power and leadership. Take the lead. Right. Don't sit back and allow life just to pass you by. Right. Don't allow yourself to fall into the energy of I'll never achieve this. I can't do this. Right. No, 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 no. Spirit's advice to you is to be the emperor that you have inside you to embrace your fire and your passion to create a strategy, put a plan in place and then follow through. But also be willing to be open and adaptable, right? Because the emperor did not get to rule an empire by being, how should we say, inflexible, right? If you think of, you know, kings rule their kingdoms, right? But the emperor rules an entire empire. And sometimes, you know, we've got a strategy, we've got a battle plan, so to speak, right? But then sometimes I got to look back at the picture and go, you know what? This plan may have been made sense a week ago or a month ago, but something shifted, something changed. Now I've got to change my approach at something. So we don't want to get so, so stuck in our ways that we're not flexible and adaptable. But spirit wants to rem remind you here of your personal power, right, to get things done or to start something new. All right. And the emperor's Aries energy. Aries is the first sign of the zodiac. It is a fire sign. And Aries has the job of initiating things, right? And with that ace of cups, take some initiative, take some action, whatever it happens to be, it only needs to be something small. The blessings headed your way today. We've got the five of swords in reverse. Beautiful, right? You're resolving conflict. You're finding peace. You're making amends. Now, for some of you, the emperor card here is a patriarch of your family, or this can be a boss or someone in a leadership position somewhere. This might be your opportunity to meet these new people or to make amends with somebody here right now or to create with somebody that's in a position of power and authority and leadership. Right. And this can be a wonderful union. But the five of swords can represent resolving conflicts, finding a better way to communicate, um, making positive change and embracing your ability to make positive change in a good way. Right. You're not going to stab anyone on the back. You're going to be honest. You're going to be open. You're going to be truthful here. But I do feel there's a resolution of something coming in here for some of you guys. Right. So, you know, having that open heart and being willing to find peace um, with a situation or to find forgiveness in your heart may actually be your key to success and to move forward. And remember, the time is here and things can happen at any moment. And so remember, embrace the people that you love, hug the people that you love, talk to the people that you love. This can be very much an energy here of spirit saying, reach out and call someone that you haven't talked to for a long time. And maybe you've had a misunderstanding. Maybe you've had an argument with the five of swords. And this is your ability here and your opportunity possibly to let some bygones be bygones, right? And to agree to disagree and to move forward, right? And again, we sometimes only have that one chance to do that. Okay. And we don't want any regrets in our lives. Right. So if that's you, okay. Um, I lost my mom a couple weeks ago, uh, very, you know, very suddenly, um, she wasn't really that old, uh, in the general scheme of things and it just threw our family for a loop. Right. And we didn't always get along and we learned to accept each other as I got older, with very completely different people. Right. And, but I'm glad that, you know, that, we got to a point where we could actually like be in the same room together and even like do some things together. Right. But we didn't know, I didn't always have that opportunity with her. Right. Didn't always want to. So this can be with this fresh start, this new energy here, this can be where you just learn to accept somebody in your life 
and um, make those amends while you have an opportunity. So kind of a little bit of a deep message there um, for somebody, but whoever that was, you needed to hear that. So anyways, great energy coming in. We've got some wonderful gifts. Uh, we've got some manifestations here and we do have resolution of issues in a very positive way. So leave that there for you guys. I hope you have a great day. If you are interested in entering a contest uh, to win a free personal reading, all you need to do is like this video or any video that I put up throughout the month of August. Subscribe to my channel because it's only open to subscribers and leave a comment in the box down below. I am abundant. The power of three three things that you need to do. I will announce the winner on Labor Day long weekend. For those of you not in North America, that is uh, September 3rd or 3rd or 4th is when I'll put that uh, put that announcement up. So be on the lookout for that. And you can enter on as many videos right up until August 31st as you like. So have a great day, everybody. Uh, I hope you have a good one and I'll see you guys later. Bye.